Hukuthwala, a harmful traditional practice, tears apart lives. Young girls are kidnapped, forced into early marriages against their will. Families are left in despair as victims face trauma, abuse, and loss of education. Communities struggle under the weight of these acts, perpetuating cycles of poverty and inequality. Awareness, education, and legal action are crucial to combat this insidious tradition. I slept with all the married men in my village. Hi, please keep me anonymous. My story is rather painful, not just for me, but all the wives of the men I slept with. I once dated this guy without knowing that he was a married gent. It was really sad when I found out that he was married. That man was married to a nurse who worked very far from home. So the nurse would come home once a month on her days off. She worked shifts, so when she was off, she would go home to her husband. They had no kids, and I think the man wanted to use me as someone who bore a child for him. Whenever the wife wasn't home, then he would come fetch me and I would be in his house. Of course, the house had a woman's touch and taste, but he lied to me and said his wife had passed away and I believed him because not once had he received weird calls for as long as I was around. We dated for years, and when I fell pregnant, it was then that I learned the truth. He then told me that he is married, but just wanted a second wife to give him kids since his wife couldn't. I was so shocked and hurt. Most of all, I felt used and betrayed. I kept my distance because I was really frustrated by the whole situation. He was really happy about the pregnancy, and he begged me to allow him to introduce me to his wife. He even begged me to let his uncles come to my home for Lobola negotiations. I loved him, so after some time, I decided to give it another try. I didn't want to be a single mother, so I took that as an opportunity to mend things with him. I also agreed to meet his wife before his uncles met my uncles. Another thing that was bothering me was the fact that I had met his family, and that includes his mom, siblings, aunts, and uncles, and no one has ever said anything about the man being married. They all welcomed me with open arms. This means they were sneaky people and shouldn't be trusted. If they could do that to Mom Kalu, then why wouldn't they do it to me? Anyway, the introduction to the wife really didn't go well. The woman was very livid and she went as far as boiling water. Before boiling the water, she asked me if I'd like tea or coffee because it was cold I asked for tea. Unbeknown to me that she was just buying time to boil and bring water to burn me. Soon as the water, she came charging at me. But luckily, I realized what was about to happen and ran out of the house. I was supposed to be spend the weekend there, so I ran for my life and left my weekend bag there. Biggest mistake of my life. She took the bag and put it in her car and left with it. At that moment, I thought she was only going to burn and destroy the clothes, so I wasn't worried about the bag at all. Three weeks after the whole incident, I was sleeping, when I suddenly felt a very cruciating pain in my belly. I thought it was just the baby moving around, but the pain kept coming and going until the last one that lasted for about two minutes. I suddenly felt a very pressed feeling on my bladder, then decided to go to the toilet. That is when I noticed I was bleeding. I called the baby daddy who rushed over. Then we rushed to the hospital. I was told I was having a miscarriage. I was admitted so that they can clean me up and the next day I made my way home. That was the very last day I ever saw the man. He blocked me everywhere without any explanation till this day. Fine. I had to find healing and just move on because complaining and mourning wasn't going to help me at all. Weeks later I then realized that I had a very serious I slept with thing for married men. They were also attracted to me. No single man looked my way. Only married men wanted me and I wanted them back. I became their playground and I didn't mind at all. I've had so many harassments from their wives and instead of stopping this dangerous life, I kept on hopping from one man to the next. A very good friend of mine decided that my life wasn't normal and she decided to take me to a Sangoma. It was on that day that I learned that someone took my clothes to bewitch me. The person made sure I sleep with only married men for the rest of my life. I knew it was the woman who tried to burn me because the Sangoma described the clothes and panties and guess what? They were in the bag that she took. I also learned that the miscarriage wasn't natural. She made it happen. Luckily, I got the help that I needed and I am now free from the spirit of Jezebel. I had to move away from our village because everyone there hated me for the life that I've been living. None of them even wants to hear my side of the story.